AMD's newest data center CPUs are here. But just how epic are they? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Yesterday, AMD had their event to launch Epic, the company's newest data center CPUs. Now, I know tons of people think I'm just some huge AMD fanboy, but I just like competition and will definitely call them out if they do something wrong. But lately, to be honest, well, they're doing pretty good, minus the painfully slow release of Vega. But of course, I've discussed that a good bit as well. Either way, the event officially shut off pricing and specs of Epic, and it's pretty much what was leaked nearly a week ago. But I'll quickly go through those with you in a minute. First, please remember these CPUs are not for gaming and should not at all or ever be used for said gaming, unless of course we're talking hosting a game, etc, but that's different. I just know many of you are excited for the competition AMD has brought to the market and trust me, I'm right there with you. Before I get started, I definitely want to point everyone to the GamerMail Discord server. We have some great talks about hardware, tech, gaming, and everything in between. If you have a hardware related question or just like talking about it, definitely make sure to head on over, the link is in the description below. So first up is the release date, or should I say release dates. The top four CPUs launched yesterday, with the rest set to release in July. Now one of the part I know many of you want to hear, specs. Epic has a whopping 12 SKUs, three of which are single socket with the rest offering dual socket support. The core count starts with 8 cores and 16 threads, then leading up to the already announced but still impressive 64 thread beast. They also offer 8 channels of DDR4 running at 2666 MHz with a total of 2 terabytes of RAM support for each CPU. Epic also offers an incredible 128 PCI Express lanes, and I do want to mention that in my Epic leaked video, which was pretty epic, uh, okay, okay, <laughs> I'll stop. I stated that each CPU had 64 PCI Express lanes, but that was obviously incorrect. In my defense, I tried looking quite hard at the time and noticed AMD specifically stated, quote, per CPU on things like memory, DDR4 channels, etc., but then specifically said 128 PCI Express lanes, yet didn't mention the per CPU part. Then they also showed 64 PCI Express lanes per CPU when in dual socket, but I get why they didn't use per CPU in the wording, and that's because they didn't want people to think it would have a total of 256 PCI Express lanes with a two socket system, while what it actually does is use half the lanes of each CPU to make the still total 128 PCI Express lanes. Either way, 128 lanes is what I'd call impressive, and that's for the entire lineup, so there's no confusing specs to ensure your particular CPU has enough lanes, etc., which is definitely something they should be commended on. When talking performance, Epic has broken a few records, including the performance record for a two-socket server. When compared to Intel's current offerings at similar pricing, you can see Epic is looking really good. Now, there's one thing to note that could be a huge caveat. Tom's Hardware found that in AMD's endnotes, they lowered Intel's score when calculating by 46%, stating that, quote, they feel the Intel C++ compiler provided an unfair advantage in the benchmark. But, according to Tom's Hardware, most predicted it'd be more like 20%. Who most is, though, I don't know. Now, that does still seem to put AMD at a pretty nice lead, but if it's true, those benchmarks certainly aren't accurate comparisons, and I'll absolutely be one to state how ridiculous that is. But until we have third-party benchmarks, we can't know for sure. Of course, with Intel soon to be releasing their version 5 Xeons, that might not be good for AMD. Though AMD did state that Epic was made to compete with Intel's next-generation CPUs, so we shall see. Now, while the specs of Epic are quite impressive, one of the most exciting things to see were the cloud and data center providers who hopped on board the Epic train. We're talking both Azure, Microsoft's cloud platform, and Baidu, the largest Chinese language search engine, were both excited to utilize the power of Epic and both companies had a big presence at the conference. Not only that, but One and One, a pretty huge host provider, and even Dropbox were excited for AMD's newest and greatest. There were honestly even more. This is definitely great news because AMD needs these bigger deals to eventually reach profit thanks to the higher margins. Now, one thing I do want to mention before people get too excited is that this doesn't mean AMD is going to all of a sudden beat out Intel or become huge just yet. I know everyone loves an underdog story, but just stating the companies are excited and going to be including Epic in their data centers does not tell us how much they plan to utilize it. These companies are going to be very conservative in their buying habits. It's not like they're going to completely replace their current data centers with Epic or anything like that. That would be, well, ludicrous to do for one, since they have perfectly good hardware already, but of course, they're always looking to purchase more. And it certainly seems, at least for now, that AMD has done a fantastic job and is getting some great partners to help bolster their data center book of business. 
So while I'm not saying this isn't good news for the company and well earned, just understand it's going to be great competition for Intel and will be fantastic to watch the two companies compete in the market, but it certainly doesn't mean Intel's done for or anything like that. And really, you shouldn't want that. So while that ends today's video, what do you think about Epic? Does it live up to the name or are you just excited for Intel's newest Xeon processors? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.